Welcome to another year, and welcome back to another lawn care season. The grass behind me is still dormant right now, but there's seven things I'm gonna do and I wanna share with you. Hopefully you can copy everything I'm doing in order to give you a head start on the new lawn care season. During the winter months, when the grass is dormant and we're mostly inside trying to stay warm, we're not really out in the yard as much. But this number one tip that I suggest you all do, and what I'm gonna do is actually walk my property. When you walk your property, you're gonna identify small problems before they become bigger problems. And the few things I'm noticing in my yard right now is weeds. I have weeds popping up in certain spots on the lawn and it's mostly on this hill but you can look everywhere else and there's not much weeds in other parts of my yard but only on this hill right here there's weeds so I'm going to shoot a video to show you how I'm going to take care of this. I purposely ignore these weeds for the sake of making a video on how to kill it. So stay tuned for that. Other issues I'm noticing is land erosion. With all the rain we've had, some parts of my yard has started to wash away. So I'll show you how I deal with that. But the main thing is to walk your property and identify small problems before they become bigger problems. Number two on the list, don't underestimate the power of a soil test. When you get a soil test, it's gonna paint a bigger picture and tell you exactly how your soil was doing. A lot of times your pH may be off and you can throw all the fertilizers in the world, but it's not gonna change your pH much. So you wanna get a soil test to identify exactly where your pH is. This next one on the list doesn't apply to everyone, but for me, one of the first things I'm gonna do is kill off the ryegrass. You see, I overseeded with annual ryegrass in the front yard and it looked good. You get a lot of attention, you get a lot of comments, but now is the time to actually kill off your ryegrass in order to reduce the competition to your Bermuda grass. Next on the list, you wanna to start to bring your lawn down. You wanna slowly over time, open up the soil and allow more sunlight to hit it. When that happens, it's gonna warm your soil up and stimulate new growth. Now, if you don't bring your lawn down, it's not a big deal, but you're gonna have a slower green up. So cut your lawn, bring it down slowly. And when it comes to scalp time, it's not gonna be so much to deal with. This next one on the list is applying a pre-emergent. Guys, you have to apply your pre-emergent. Now there's timing aspects of it that you have to take into consideration. Usually when your soil temps start rising to 55 degrees and then again to 70 degrees, this is when you wanna put down your spring pre-emergent. Doing that will prevent summer weeds best way to get rid of weeds is to prevent them in the first place. If you got weeds in the lawn, you want to get rid of it as soon as possible. It's also going to be another source of competition for your Bermuda grass. Now most winter weeds will die off when it gets warmer, but why wait for that? If you can, kill it off. I'm going to make a weed video coming up shortly. The last one on the list is applying my bug barrier. You see the rain and the winter has washed away or eroded most of the bug barrier I had around my home and on my lawn. You don't wanna wait until bugs become a bigger problem to deal with it. When you apply a bug barrier early on, you're gonna prevent most major bug issues from bothering you come springtime. These are the seven tips I have to start off your lawn care season. I'm gonna make a video on a few of these and show you exactly step by step on what I do to kick off my lawn care season. Hope you found this video useful and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.